It's almost spread throughout all biology, but the extent of its spread, I say, it's still becoming more important. Uh, and uh, but uh, it certainly spread so much more than I ever anticipated uh, because of the development of new uh, uh, technologies. Uh, we hope uh, manipulating DNA will, you know, yield uh, new sources of energy for, you know, we'll have uh, lots of industrial consequences. It hasn't so far. Uh, it's beginning to have lots of medical consequences, and uh, uh, which I hope will, you know, over the next uh, 10 years show that we can probably cure most cancer. That's what we're going to try. So we've uh, moved a long way, and uh, it, it, uh, the costs have gone down, so we're not limited by money now. We're limited sort of by how fast society wants to accept us. This century will be the coming together of sort of DNA and psychology that is of understanding how the human brain operates and understanding the genetic component to human behavior. You know, how free are we? <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, and to the extent that we don't seem free, you know, is our personalities fixed? <laughs> uh, you know, could you ever make the brain work better by uh, taking pills? Uh, we sort of all hope so. <laughs> you know, the, to the extent it would be nice to, to have a clearer brain or, uh, you know, to have our emotions, uh, you know, under control uh, in the extreme, uh, you know, how to deal with mental disease. Uh, I don't think we're going to, you know, ever do away with... Uh, mental disease, but we'll be able to handle it better. Now, uh, it's just you know, tragedies that we, for the most part we can't handle.